Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Negotiations between Turkey's governing AK Party and the main opposition CHP to form a coalition government have failed. CHP leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu says there's no ground on which to form a coalition government due to the different demands of their supporters. Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu has suggested early elections are likely. He said they're the only way to provide permanent stability for the nation. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has expressed profound grief for his country's aggression during World War II. He gave an address to mark the 70th anniversary of the end of the war. Abe says he bows his head deeply before the souls of all those who perished both at home and abroad. He expressed feelings of profound grief and eternal sincere condolences. China and South Korea have looked to Abe to apologize for Japan's actions in the war. Abe also promised that his country would never wage a war again. Tens of thousands of people demonstrated in the Ecuadorian capital Quito. The group was made up of indigenous activists, unionists and environmentalists. They're striking against proposed legislation that would allow President Rafael Correa to be re-elected indefinitely. This is the first national strike against Correa since he took office eight years ago. China has sent chemical experts to the port city of Tianjin to test for toxins after a series of large explosions. At least 54 people have been killed and more than 700 injured. The team of nuclear and chemical experts is on the ground. People are worried about their safety after hearing reports that there could be hundreds of tons of dangerous chemicals at the site. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.